that's what uh, this Will is or Ford produced uh, an American model or American gentleman uh, seemingly sprinkling dust on the floor. Uh, he normally is uh, tuning a radio set which is mounted in the back of this jeep. So produced by the Americans uh, to a BSA design, uh, the quantity of production by Daimler began in 1939 and the first of these vehicles went across with the BF to France in 1940 and like most other of their kit, left there. Continued to be manufactured throughout the war. It was a very successful vehicle. By the change of a lever, it also has five reverse gears. The idea being that if you were spotted, you hit the reverse and got out of there as quickly as possible. The engine is a Daimler engine, a cylinder petrol, developing this in our brake course. This is a Sherman, specific type is a Grizzly, an M4A1 type that was built in Canada in small numbers, in fact only 188 of this particular type uh, were built, but it is a, exactly the same type that was built in massive numbers in the United States, the M4A1. widely used tank, allied tank in the Second World War. Those 40,000 were built in 1945. Under armour. Pulling up before the position, the commander is 
the top machine guns before firing to the enemy, while the section debrushed from the back, deployed, then fought through the position. Principally because tracks caused damage uh, elsewhere in the world, British Army tended to use wheeled vehicles, which have much less sensitive. Whenever the ground dries up, you start up, not only do you get your smoke from the engines, but as soon as you move, you get plumes of dust falling everywhere. Of course, this means that you can be seen from uh, quite a long way away. Uh, in fact, in deserts, battle on desert battlefields, uh, if the conditions are right, plumes of dust from a major unit moving can move miles into the atmosphere. chassis. Uh, the Abbott on the Mark II chassis with the um, Rolls-Royce six-cylinder engine in it. Uh, the addition on top of a turret, which mounts a 105mm gun. During the Second World War, when uh, all the artillery was towed, uh, but as mechanised forces got larger and larger, uh, the towed artillery pieces went inside the chassis. These early variants uh, were open-topped. After the end of the war, it was realised that it was just as easy to put a fully enclosed turret on the vehicle, making a self-propelled gun that looks very much like a tank. It's not intended to engage us for the armor field. It is not were released about six months ago. And in fact, a particular vehicle has proved quite popular with private purchasers. Uh, so it's not impossible that you will see uh, an abbot uh, parked in somebody's backyard. <laughs> he took that dish a little fast. If you've got a crew member in the top, well, I think he'd be cursing him now. Going for the water splash, straight in, accelerate, keep the water in front of you, push it forward uh, so that it doesn't join you in the driving compartment. Uh, and fire when stationary.
steadily ask his position. Chieftain Mark 10, one of the last marks of Chieftain made. And again, right the Abbot was just coming out of service, being replaced by the Challenger, uh, the type of vehicle that's action in the Gulf. So, Mark Dabbitt, the Chieftain is designed to fire on the move, although at the uh, on this display you will notice that the gun is facing to the rear in the gun crutch. This is to avoid unnecessary wear on the gun stabilising mechanism. During the Second World War, uh, guns were not stabilised uh, and achieving a hit while firing on the move uh, was very unusual. Most tanks at that time had to actually come to a halt, acquire the target, fire, and then move quickly off again. Towards the end of the war, designers managed to
pass reverses forward. Um, critical problem being that the driver can't see what he's doing, uh, and therefore has to rely entirely uh, on the instructions of the commander. So this is normally the case. The driver responds to what the commander asks him to do. Driver left, driver right, halt or advance, because he can see what he's doing.
at the front there you can see Sam and Sam will be jumping for all the mums in the audience okay in the centre we've got Jet and Jet will be jumping for all the dads in the audience and finally Sally will be jumping for all the children in the audience and we're going to start off at seven feet and it's Sam to start us for the mums so let's have a big cheer mums for Sam come on mums no problems there okay dads you've got Jet come on dads big cheer from the dads come on dads Oh, there was no support. There was one dad in the corner and that was it. Okay, children. Sally for the children. Go, children. Yay! There we go. No problem there. Okay. At six inches. Um, come on, mums. Come on, mums. Come on, Sam. Oh, yes. Okay, Jet for all the dads. Come on, dad. Big Jet for Jet. Come on, Jet. Come on. Well done, dad. That's a bit better. Now, children. Sally for the children then. Come on, Sally. Come on, children. No problem there. Okay, all three dogs still in the competition. Up to eight feet now. Up to eight feet and Sam to start us for the mums. Come on, mums. Big cheer, mums, for Sam. Come on, mums. Come on, Sam. Up, 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 up. Oh, yes. Okay, Jet for all the dads. Come on, dads. Come on, Jet. Cut. Flipping, eh? Come on, Tansley. You've been disqualified. You're disqualified. What's the problem? Oh, take him, you got any ideas, Cobble Tansley? Oh, that's good, that's the first. Come on, take him away. Come on, Jet. Off you go, sit down. Okay, children, you're still in. You've got Sally. Sally for the children. Well done, Sally. Okay, up to eight for mums and dads then. To start us off, I think three, six, down to the mums and dads. Yes! What a competition. Sally for all the children. So come on, children. Big cheer for Sally. Come on, here we go. Up, 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 up. Oh, yes. Blimey, up to the maximum now. Up to nine feet. Sam for the mums and dads. Sally for all the children. The louder you shout, the higher they're going to jump. So mums and dads to start us off then. Sam for the mums and dads. Come on then. Come on then, Sam. Come on then, Sam. Sam for the mums and dads. Well, that leaves Sally for all the children to be today's champion. Sally for the children then, biggest cheer of the day. Come on, Sally, come on, Sally, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, yes! No problem, well done, children. Former guide dog for the blind. No problems for Buster, well done. And now we've got Sally. Sally, the children's champion, give him a cheer, kids. There we go, well done Sally. And now Rex, Rex our not so colourblind German Shepherd. Just touch that one. But no problem for Rex, well done. And now Jet, our sledgehammer retrieving dog. There goes Jet, very nice, well done Jet. And now it's Duke. Duke who eventually retrieved that bucket. Only a bit two weeks with Corbalakas, but nicely along the fire line. Well done Duke. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for him. And there he goes, away from his handler. Minimum of con command. Up the fire tower. Jumps three and four. And now the pickup. The pickup and the retrieve. Back along the fire line. Ooh, just dropped that one, I think, Sam. So this is Rex. A little bit eager to get on with things there, I think, uh, Football Davis. Okay, Rex then, on the fire retrieve, there he goes, up, up, over the fire tower, eight years old this German Shepherd, and now he picks up, he picks up and now he returns along the flaming fire line, dumbbell burning in his mouth, no problems there for Ed Rex, well done. When you're ready, Rex. Thank you very much. At about quarter past three. Football fans, come on, let's get him off this arena. People want to move away to watch the flying display. I know he fell asleep on the scramble. I don't know what the problem is here. What is the problem, Cottle Tansley? He did the file. I know he did all that. Come on, can you get him off? You got any ideas this time? A bicycle. No, I don't believe Jack can ride a bicycle. Have we got a bike? Yes, we've got a bike. 
I saw him retrieve milk bottles, but I don't think he can ride a bicycle. <laughs> So we want him off this arena. Put him on the bike then. Ah, oh, put him on your back then. That's better. Ah. Oh. So it isn't Jet that rides the bike. It's Corporal Tansley that rides the bike. <laughs> and there they go. Head on Jet and Corporal Tansley. Think of the back ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you later. He's <laughs> <laughs> got one of them assault rifles. <laughs> cigarettes, it's a perfect place to keep your cigarettes dry, spare ammunition. I just held it like that. What's your finger didn't creep over the barrel? I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt it. Mm. We've got more guns than Greasy, hasn't he? Knows what to do with them. Air Forces Commander was Air Chief Marshal for Trapper Lee Mallory. That's the first thing. Home General Sir Bernard Montgomery, of course. Shoot. 
blue ice slower coming down. Tokyo parachuting, of course, uh, one of the biggest, uh, again, in addition to D-Day, one of the tremendous uh, airborne operations was to happen in September 44, of course, that uh, operation, uh, please retire behind the barriers, thank you. an extremely tight 360. This one, yeah, the old uh, one, the first one, I'm seeing him. We want to see more of the place there. Oh, on this good side. But this is the only thing we want to do with our car. Uh, for allowing your uh, allowing
of uh, enemy coastal units and also new boats. Uh, nothing got uh, too close to our own naval forces.
I've just been uh, reliably informed that the particular function for the Blenheim on D-Day was in fact laying smoke. And uh, that, I'm sure, had a uh, 